Dutch load functioning test number two with odd numbers. First in the pipe being the HTP 88 grain. It does penetrate deeper uh, with the Fioki XTPs going uh, even numbers because you sometimes in some results get some. So uh, better either go with this or maybe Dutch load. Though there is a little bit of a recoil difference. It seems the HTPs are a little hotter. It seems I'll have to do more testing. Uh, I fired eight last time, all one-handed, left-handed only. I might do a couple that way and then switch the two. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might do some and beaks. We'll see whatever I friggin' feel like, just to kind of test the combination out with the eight round match. So, five yards. Hey, back away, dude. Man, I don't want trouble. No, I don't got any money, bro. Hey, stay away, man. Keep your distance. Jump there! Alright, so most of those beginning headshots was around one handed. Uh, I got a miss. Okay, so five yards. I never missed three yards. I do got a miss. It's good to know. And I got a couple up there. So that was an attempted headshot. That was uh, some back uh, pulling. And I actually short st stroked the tr trigger once. Not good. I don't usually do that. So uh, I'm not sure. Real recoil on pulse. Uh, you know, and stuff like that. A little different. So uh, anyway, function flawlessly. Uh, even Dutch, and so that tells me that this ammo is probably good to go in this gun. I should probably do a few more, and I probably will because it's cheap for a 50 round box of some of the best defensive ammo, if not the best defensive ammo, in my opinion. Now, after re restudying all the info out there, there's not a lot out there on that, but instead of like four. 13.5 to 16, you know, 15 and a half, depending on denim or bear gel with the XTPs. This is this is uh, much further penetration, 16, 18, 20 inches uh, in various tests, various barrel lengths. So you do get some deeper penetration uh, with the HTPs and occasional tumble damage. So anyway, that was it.